Hi everyone, I'm going to do a long video today and you won't believe it but we are going to play with bingo daubers and it's I've had them for a lot a long time they are from the cheap store I only have this basic uh, colors but the things that you can do with them is uh, are unbelievable so I posted this uh, page on Facebook and you've asked about the background the background is made from bingo daubers and I'm going to uh, show you some examples and then I'm going to uh, walk you through the process so these are just some of my of the I don't know a collage paper or painty paper as I prefer to call it that I've done with the bingo daubers and some of them I uh, still uh, need work some of them I'm going to just uh, leave as is this is the just a cleanup and this one this is what was left from this background the, the leftover pieces and just so you can see i've uh, taken and done some small greeting cards i've done a a tag i've decorated a shopping bag and now i'm i will use it as a gift bag so as you can see you can do many stuff with the, the painty papers and this <laughs> page just so you will know has a video i just didn't have a time yet to upload it so you will get to see it okay so i'm moving this aside and we are going to start with the bingo daubers there are lots of more colors than this but that's what i had and i had so much fun uh, working with it okay so I'm putting this this is basically baking mat it's a silicone mat and I use it to do all kinds of stuff on it usually what I'm going to show you uh, and also uh, in the past I've used it as <laughs> something <laughs> before I had a gel plate I would have uh, I used the silicone mat to do my uh, mono printing okay so you just need printer paper or if you want you can uh, work on better paper thicker paper this is on watercolor paper so and uh, you can do small you can do large whatever you want this is just a start of a um, page so i'm going to do one uh, large one and then we'll do some smaller ones and as you can see i've marked the corners just so i will see where i'm putting uh, the colors and well i haven't done anything with brown so let's see maybe it's time to do something with brown so what i'm going to do is just squish it I can also do like this. I really don't plan this. I'm just putting it down. And let's put some red. I'm also letting some of it mix. And I'm thinking yellow. very very simple so now we need a spray bottle and just spraying now you can spray from uh, far and have more of a mist you can spray closely and make it spread more just play with it and have fun it's just bingo daubers and it's just plain simple paper i'm putting it down i've 
I'm going to put some uh, gloves on because, well, surprisingly, the um, pigment is very strong in the bingo daubers and I find myself just always <laughs> having to remove it from my hand. So here we go. Now I can leave it be and let it soak all uh, the paint, the pigment and the water and I can lift it however I want. Now as you can see a lot is still here on uh, the mat so I can just let it go again and let it absorb the rest. And sometimes I don't uh, put enough uh, paint so I am going to work on it for another layer. It's just what playing with what you have like this. So it's really a very nice start. Now you, if you have you like subtle, that's great. Just move it aside and I prefer to just lift it uh, with the mat and have other stuff because if it's too soaked it will tear if you are trying uh, to lift it. I'm going to do it very gently and put it aside to dry. And now I can take other paper like this printer paper and once again soak whatever I have here. I like to do two or three layers. It just uh, I found that it works better than trying from the first to get everything. So I know it doesn't look uh, great, but this is just the first layer and I'm going to build on top of it. Trying to absorb most of what I have here and I'm moving this aside again. Okay, so I'm going to uh, take this aside. Another uh, way to go about it, just going to clean a little bit. I don't know if you can see it, but I managed to <laughs> make a mess. Okay, another way is I took just this plastic tray, again, cheap store, and worked on this. It was, a, I don't know, it just worked for me. And let's see, like if I have this a uh, page and I don't, this is just the first layer and I want something more. And here is another page. This was just a cleanup of the rest of what I had. Let's get another one just so I can show you how you can play with all of this. So again, I can uh, leave it like this for subtle and or I can add to it let's just add a little bit I think it will it needs a little bit of purple and I know the tray is smaller than this page I don't care right now I'm just going to add color wherever it will like so don't care that's the whole thing just have fun you see don't I'm not trying to um, plan it the less I plan the better the result so now it's just adding a, let's say puddles of paint and I'm going to show you how to do how to add some pattern some more interest to each of the painted papers here we go so this one also needs to dry here we go okay let's see I've got this one. I will also do this. Okay, how am I uh, getting some pattern? Of course, you can stamp on it. You can stencil on it. But what I want to show you is another thing 
that you can do just with the bingo daubers. Okay, so I've got lots and lots of uh, silicone uh, trivets and they are great for a uh, gel printing, mono printing and uh, using with sprays and with ink pads. They are just great. So that's what I've used and I'm going to show you. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I will use this one. One of them just disappeared on me. Maybe, yeah, for a change, I'll do something more <laughs> with straight lines. Okay, so I'm going to move this aside. And what I've done is just, let's see. What do I want to add? What color? Let's go wild. I'm going to add red to the mix. So as you can see, I'm just going over the silicone mat. You can do the same with all kinds of stamps and handmade stamps from craft foam will work the same. Now I can uh, print it as is, or I can again, put some water on it and it will uh, spread out a little bit. It's a choice, it's just one more thing to play with. So I'm spraying it a little bit and now here we go. Having fun. And it also, um, there is some kind of reaction with the color that was before, so it creates a really interesting pattern. The more uh, layers, the more a uh, visual texture that you will have at the back. So once again, just putting down The same thing can be done with distress inks if you want to. It doesn't have to be bingo doubles. This anything that I'm doing now can be done with distress inks. Here we go. Just absorbing everything. And let's see. Just so you will see how it goes. Let's take, I'm just reaching for one of the distress inks and I can do this. Again, you can spray, you can not spray whatever you want. Here we go, one more painty paper. Okay, and let's... We are not wasting anything. Next, just so you will see, you can, about the distress inks, I can go like this, so you don't have to rush <laughs> to the <laughs> local cheap store and uh, buy bingo daubers if you don't have them. Here we go. Just remember, it's just paper. Have fun with it. And I can still activate more of what I've got here. And again, now you can wait for everything to dry and do the next layer, or you can just continue 
to the next layer as long as you can lift the page without tearing it then you're golden <laughs> so that's just a one way to go about it and let's see let's do just one more i've got this it's quite interesting already but let's go and this is just plastic and not a silicone trivet but it works quite nicely Here we go. Isn't it nice? Just one more. And then I will let everything dry and I want to do an art journal page with one of these papers or more than one just so you can see what you can, can be done. Okay, now if, if uh, you don't like working like this, you can always just, again, put here whatever you want with the bingo daubers like this. to move it aside no overthinking that's the major directive <laughs> here we go just having fun with it and making a mess as usual okay so I still got lots of a uh, paint here so let's take one of the boring uh, pages I've got and squish it just adding more to the mix Here we go. And I can work and work and work on it, just adding more. And you can also uh, do shapes if that's what you like. It's very easy. Just use your imagination and don't be afraid. Now, of course, uh, when you're doing something like this, if you want a, a very distinct shape, then it's better to wait for it to work on dry uh, paper. If the paper is still wet from something else, then the shape will spread. So just so you will know. And I can take this one. okay so now i'm just going to wait for everything to dry and then we'll go and do some art journaling i'll be back okay so before we continue to the art journal page i want to uh, just uh, tell you what I've done here because that's what I have posted on Facebook and you wanted to know so as you as I said the background is just the one of the papers I've done with the bingo daubers the only thing I've added on top of it is white splatter 
and then I took one of my stencils with a white marker and done this uh, leaves just by hand and I used the stencil as a guide just for the outer uh, shape of the leaves. I was intending to go all over the page with the leaves and then I don't know why decided to keep them here. After I've done that this is another stencil I have. I just stenciled with white and added a little bit of detail with some um, Posca uh, markers, pens, whatever, whatever. And that's it. That's the whole page. So, moving this aside, I'm going to take now this journal and I've already glued down one of the pages that I've, I've done. One of the printer paper. Here is the leftover and another a piece I've used for a tag. This will probably go in something else, maybe even a small greeting card. So just putting this aside. And so that's the start of my page. And again, I want to add some splatter. I'm going to use again the bingo daubers. And I'm using this blue. I'm going to take a fan brush with a little water. Although it's quite watery, I just want to... The more water, the... the <laughs> less strong the paint. And now I'm just splattering all over. I really like it. I'm thinking of adding from the purple and let them mix. Okay. So that's good. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the heat tool. So if you hate, like I do, the sound of it on video, then <laughs> just mute it for a few seconds. Okay, so we finished with <laughs> this. I just want to show you, I want more pattern in the back. So I want to use a stamp. Let's see. I haven't tried it, but I believe it should work. So let's do again another thing with the bingo daubers. I'm going to try it without adding water and we'll see. It's nice, but I need to put more. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that uh, visible on this page, but that's fine. So just another way to go about adding something to your page and just with the bingo daubers. Okay, I want to uh, darken the edges of this page and I'm going to use uh, Distress Ink. This is Dusty uh, Concord and I need a makeup sponge. So I'm just going around the page and I'm not subtle about it. I want it distinct. I'm also getting inside the page.
I think it's going to be a very simple page. I haven't planned too much. I'm just having fun with it. Just adding where I think it's needed. Okay, so we've done this. And I'm bringing this stencil that I'm quite in love with. <laughs> so we're going to use this again. Now I'm debating if I want to use acrylic paint or continue and do something soft with the distressing and maybe I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll start with, no, I don't want this color. Maybe I'll start with Distress Ink and then I will see. If you don't like it, I can always go over and do acrylics. Okay, so I just got this uh, makeup brushes from Temu and let's try them it's about time seems nice okay now let's see how they work if they are nice or not so starting at the bottom with the purple And I'm thinking of now switching to the blue. This is chipped sapphire. Let's take the blue. If I have all these colors, let's... <laughs> It gets into all these little details. Oh, that's nice, but again, a little bit softer than I like. I think I will add more of the blue to where I've put the purple so it would be more distinct. And a little bit more. Now I like it. <laughs> okay. So I just want to put something here at the bottom. So my uh, thorn uh, won't be floating. I'm going to do the same thing I've done on... The shopping bag, I'm going to uh, use some washi tape. Let's see, as I said, not planned. Maybe this one. Nope. This will work. Okay. I'm feeling like putting something more. Ok, 
Okay. This a little bit crooked. And and something is missing. I think I want some a stamping still in the back, some writing. I like text in the back, so let's take a stamp. And I'm going to use black and just randomly stamp it. Just okay. Now I'm happy. Okay. And I'm thinking this is bothering me. That I want something here. Some words. Let's see what I've got. This also from a bot on Temu. I think white will stand out here. Mm. I don't know. I'm just picking one. live your dream with passion that's it yeah so that's my page and that's all folks <laughs> bingo daubers who knew so i hope you will have fun playing with it and do beautiful things thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now